Hey everyone, I hope you all are doing well today. Today we are going to be looking at the 1995 Trend Masters Star Castle Jewelry Castle. This is absolutely gorgeous. This is of course made by Trend Masters. They made a bunch of these beautiful castles, Polly Pocket style, in the mid to late 90s. They made a bunch of different styles under the sea, in the clouds. This is from the beauty collection, so you would have one that was more makeup themed whereas this one is jewelry themed. Trend Masters of course is the same company that made Sky Dancers which is another popular 90s toy that a lot of people collect now and in fact in the early 2000s they actually made these castles that included Sky Dancers with them. Now this is my first star castle. There is a variation of this one in more of a purple instead of this pink. I think the biggest thing about these sets is just how well they present. They're just gorgeous to look at. It's obviously a pink castle with lots of blue and yellow. Very, very sparkly all over. What's so cool about this set is the way they kind of hide the jewelry on the set. For example, this top part here, it comes off and it becomes a necklace so you could wear this it almost looks like oh I don't know a perfume or potion bottle I thought maybe this top part came off so that you could store stuff inside here but it doesn't unless I'm just not pulling hard enough maybe one of you guys knows but as far as I can tell it doesn't come off another part here that comes off is this it just slips off here and this is actually a bracelet it just barely fits my wrist. Um, it's very, very small, but so cute. And it just goes back on there like that. Now these right here are both earrings and they actually didn't come with any backs on them. I was kind of disappointed by that. The pictures didn't exactly clearly show that, but thankfully I had a whole box of clip-on earrings. I was able to snatch the backs off of some other earrings and put them on here. The backs are metal though, and the earring is obviously plastic, so I try to be very careful. I don't want to scratch up the plastic too much with the metal, but it's not like I'm actually wearing these. I just needed a way to actually affix them to the playset, and this gets the job done, of course. Now, if you know Star Castles, if you know them really well, then you will recognize that these are not the original little dangly gems that are supposed to hang from these earrings. The actual gem that was supposed to hang from these earrings was a very light pink star. It was very cute, but unfortunately the set I got, only one of the earrings had the star. I did look into finding some gems. Maybe I could find a star that was similar enough that I could put on the second earring, but I just really couldn't find what I was looking for. And I figured why spend money on something that's not gonna be exactly what I want anyway since I already had little sticker gems. I just took a couple of sticker gems. I sanded off the silver backing because the star was see-through and I wanted to keep the original style as much as possible so I did sand off the silver backing to make the gems a little lighter and see-through and actually only this earring had the little connector piece. This one didn't have the star or the connector piece, but my husband made me a new connector piece out of a paper clip, which he did a really good job. This is the new one, this is the old one. This one's looking pretty beat up and old. It's actually plastic. I think I'll actually have him make me another one just so they totally match and it actually looks better. Now, as far as what's missing from the outside of this set, I am missing a ring that would go right there. You could fit it right there. As far as I can tell from pictures online, it would have a blue gem. I actually went ahead and bought a pack of 24 play rings for like $4. And in that set, they do have a ring that looks fairly close to the original ring that would have come with the set. I am still waiting on those. I will insert video footage here of when I get those rings so that you guys can see how it looks. Other than that, I'm also missing a tiara that would fit somewhere along the bottom, I guess. I did think about getting a tiara like from the Dollar Tree or something, but I couldn't find any that actually looked like the tiara that originally came with the set. I do wanna try to keep, you know, the color 
color or style or something as much as I possibly can. There's also this little table here on top. You can see it has a hinge. You can actually open that up. It'd be kind of cool if it was like a slide into the castle. It's kind of hard to see here, but it's really just a compartment. This piece is just hollow here. You could store small things in there. I'd be very cautious because things can obviously get stuck and jammed. So I probably wouldn't store anything of any importance in there. Along with this beautiful castle also comes a magical gatehouse. This is meant to help you connect one castle to another castle. I guess it also comes in the same style as the castle, just very sparkly pink, purples, blues, yellows. And these two parts up here actually come down like this. They're kind of on a track here. You can move them up and down and you can also move them to the middle. So you move them to the middle like that and you can see it has this piece here. So you can just attach it to your castle. Kind of hard to tell from this angle, but then if you had another castle over here, you could obviously connect it and then you would have a little pathway from castle to castle. And they also slide out so you can extend it out a bit if you want like that. The gatehouse also opens up right here. You can see a door. You can open it up. I don't know what you put in there. Nothing that would get lost, obviously, or stuck. You don't want to lose anything. And they just look really cute side by side. You can just kind of store the gatehouse alongside it. So before we open up the castle, let's go ahead and take a look at the accessories. I do thankfully have all of the figures that are supposed to come with this set. First, we get this beautiful treasure chest. It is yellow with a pink gem on top. It just opens and closes. It doesn't stay closed, just kind of a loose close. It's so pretty. We also get a white swan. This is very reminiscent of a Polly Pocket swan. It is also a rubbery kind of material like you would find in Polly Pocket. We get this white cat. As far as I know, the animals don't have names. We also get these two yellow birds sitting on this little perch, I guess. It has a little gem on either side. The birds are removable. They're called lovebirds, of course. So sweet and cute. And we get our princess. She's in really good shape, actually. Her face is still there. She has long blonde hair. She's wearing a blue tiara, I guess. Wearing a blue dress, has a bow on the front. You can even see she's wearing some sort of bracelet or watch on her wrist, although it's not painted, but you can see it's there. Her hair is a little dirty or sticky or something but overall she's in really good shape now she does not bend like a poly of course which is unfortunate but i think she makes up for that with just being so cute now it comes time for opening the castle so we can see inside this gorgeous, gorgeous castle. Of course, originally a star castle would come with a beautiful key because that is how you open these castles. You don't just open like a Polly Pocket, you have to push a key inside. And mine unfortunately did not come with the key. So when it came time for me to open it, obviously you could use anything that will fit. You don't wanna use anything sharp, of course, but any blunt object that you can fit in the keyhole will work. But why use just anything? I mean, you're supposed to have a key to open this, right? So I realized that I had all of these keys for absolutely no reason. And bippity boppity boo, like magic, there appeared one very special key. Not really, obviously. I picked a key that would fit in the keyhole. I cleaned it up and then I added a couple of gems on either side and I put some glitter Mod Podge on it because the original key that would come with the castle would be very glittery and have gems. And then I tied this elastic cord on it. I would have preferred ribbon, but I didn't have any. And this, if you'll remember, is the little pink star that originally came off of the earring. I didn't want to just get rid of it, obviously, and I didn't know what to do with it, so I thought I would just add it to the key to keep it with the set, but in a new way. The original key to all of the Star Castle sets would be on a long ribbon that would be worn as a necklace if you wanted to. I didn't make mine a necklace length, and why I did that is so that when it is being stored, I can just take that part off and I can attach it here. I figured that is a good spot to put it. That way it can just kind of sit here, rest off to the side. It looks pretty natural with the rest of the set. I figured that was a good spot 
to store it and it just adds a little extra glitter, which is never a bad thing, of course. Now, of course, this isn't a real lock. You don't have to turn it. You just have to push on the latch here. It should pop right open. So here is the inside of our castle. There's not too much going on. You can see a beautiful heart gem back there, a couch, a shelf on the wall with some books. It looks like we have probably a bag of money there. We have some blue stairs. Down below is a door that can't open, a couple of pillars. Really pretty design there on the wall. I'm not sure what that's supposed to be, but it's very pretty. On the other side, we see more sparkly gems and flowers and candles on the wall. We have these windows that we can open. And if we open it up, we see the night sky outside. But what's really cool is if we go down here where we see the throne with another gem, more windows, but also a little dial here below the throne. And if we turn that dial, the image in the window changes. So now we see a little snow-capped mountain and a tree. If we keep going, we're getting into the nighttime, we see the moon. So we just kind of change from day to night, which is really cool. We'll say that I had hoped that this would open because it is see-through. It's almost like you should be able to put some figures in there and be able to see them, close them in there. But sadly, it does not open. I really wish it did, but it does not. Oh well. really really love this set it is so pretty everything stores really well inside it you don't have to keep the pieces separate from the castle at all and it just displays incredibly well you just can't beat the beauty of this this is just gorgeous this would look beautiful sitting anywhere So there you go guys, that was the 1995 Trendmasters Star Castle Jewelry Castle. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I hope you enjoyed looking at this castle with me. I absolutely love it. Maybe I'll get some more in the future. As always, I hope you guys are having an absolutely wonderful day and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.